It's a rainy day here in Florida. I thought I'd get some felting done. Uh, I have my crock pot, I have my hide glue. It's at 144 degrees. So it should be right in the middle range. Uh, I keep it in a quart sized storage bag. That way I can heat it up in the crock pot and then it fits handily inside one, a little plastic container and I can fold the top of the bag down over the side of the container and it gives me a, a great way to get at the glue while I'm brushing it uh, into the drawers and so forth on the box. This is a handmade mahogany box I picked up. Um, it has wooden, a wooden bottom on it and I'm going to put some glue on there. I usually start at each corner make sure that the corners stay glued down and then drag that out to the center and then go around the perimeter of the of the box and spread the glue evenly over the bottom if it pills up on you it's too it's either too thick or, or it's too cool if it lays down on a nice sheen, then, then it's uh, it's just right. I've already cut all this felt to size. I press it in there, and then I use a plastic putty knife to make sure it's pushed down evenly all the way around. It's making good contact. I found if you spend a little time uh, making sure it's adhered properly, the glue will set up and it won't cause you any problems so there's one down I've got uh, five more drawers to go and then I have the till top and sides to do here's another with a little different view make sure it's all clean on the inside hit the four corners Hit the four edges and then fill it in the middle. You don't have to work terribly quickly. Uh, the uh, high glue is relatively forgiving, but once it starts to get cool, you'll know it. You can make minor adjustments with the felt once it's in there. It does stretch just a little bit. This is Gerstner felt because it has a little more body than other felts and uh, I can always count on it to cut straight and to keep its shape while I get it installed. This is my first time using the red since this is not a this is not a Gerstner chest um, and it was custom made or home, handmade I feel I can do whatever I want to it <laughs> and it looks great with the mahogany I think. This arrangement with the cup and the quart bag and a chip brush has worked out best for me. I mean, everybody has their own technique, but uh, that's what I like to do. The six drawers have been all felted. I'll let them cool and dry, and then I'll turn my attention to the box, top till, and the top. In doing the top till, I liberally coat the sides first, but then I put in the, the bottom felt, then put the, the sides around. But if I, if I put the bottom felt in first without coating the sides, I'm likely to stain the uh, bottom felt with high glue. So put a good coat on them first. I can always reactivate it with hot glue later. So there you have it, and all before 9 o'clock in the morning. Looks great.